Welcome to a very special edition of Normal Guy Beer Reviews. I am the normal guy reviewing the beer. This is my lovely wife, who you can find on Instagram at Ginger Beer Girl. I'll put that somewhere down below. <laughs> and today, by very special request, and by providing the bottle, thank you, my buddy David, hooked us up with this bottle of Trickery from Hardywood, and we're going to go ahead and, well, I'm going to review it, she's going to try it. I don't like dark beer. She doesn't like dark beer. Like, like she just said. But I'm going to try it. She's so. going to try it. For science. Anyway. Let's go ahead and get this open. And. Do you need some help? I got this. Oh, I'm a big boy. I got this. You're a big boy. I'm a big boy. If you enjoy the content, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're brand new and all that good stuff. I mean, I have two hands. Okay. Ha! Anyway, hold this, my dear. Mmm. Smells like goodness. For for the sake of uh, science, she's gonna try it in this little baby glass. Oh, it's so dark. Uh, oh wait, I'm not gonna be able to drink that much. Mmm, lovely, lovely smell. Okay, so what, like, what's going on with this? What is it? It is an imperial milk stout aged in apple brandy barrels. Oh, so I'm probably gonna twitch or something. Yeah, 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 that's the, that's the point. Okay. And it's 13.5% ABV, so. Oh. Very merry litness to you. I don't like things aged in uh, barrels. She doesn't like barrel aged beers at all. Oh, I'm either gonna eye twitch or have a nostril flare. That's a pretty, pretty beer right there. Gonna roll some beautiful beer footage for you guys. Oh gosh, I'm nervous. Mm, are you ready? Oh, I don't know. This is nothing against this beer. I just don't like dark beer. Oh man. Cheers. Cheers. Oh lordy. We'll wait for you. Oh. Oh boy. It's not bad. You only have one little sip. I know. I'm going to give it multiple. I just had the initial. Meh. Okay. I feel like I'm like when I was trying to take medicine when I was a kid and I never <laughs> wanted to take it. All right, it's really not bad. You heard that here, here first, folks. It's really not bad. I don't, I don't. I mean, like, I'll take, I'll take three sips, but there's no way I'm gonna finish this. I can appreciate. That's all I can ask of you. I can appreciate that it's a good beer. I, it's just not for me. Maybe one day. Maybe she used, one she day. She used to say the same thing about IPAs, so. Yeah, definitely not for me. But I, I can see how it is a good beer. Just not my cup of tea. Well, thank you for being a good sport. Of course, I tried I it. I think it's very good. It's, it's barrel aged, but not one of those like crappy barrel aged beers where all you taste is the barrel, where it basically tastes like they just dumped That's liquor true. straight into the beer. I'm not saying anyone does that. I'm saying... It tastes like they do. But this is it tastes like a real hint of that barrel age flavor. It smells is. very nice. I like it because it's not. I feel like for me, a lot of barrel age things taste boozy, and this one, I think you described it perfectly. Like it's not boozy, but you can tell it has that barrel aged taste to it. It's not bad and boozy. All yeah, set. It's not bad and boozy. Let's we'll go with that. Alrighty, not bad and boozy. So anyway, I think it's a really good, really, really good beer. Like, really good. I'm gonna give this a 4.5 out of 5. 
on that rating scale that doesn't mean anything to anyone, but I guess to me. Anyways, if you enjoy the content, be sure to hit like, comment down below. Let me know if you want to see more of these because, well, honestly, I was going to do more anyway. So that's kind of a relevant thing for you to say. And subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.